Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Europa, where we are actually reasonably recovered here from our ridiculous number of rebels. So I'm thinking about maybe going after Imarina here next. Uh, let's see. They've... This is Brunei out this way. Imarina does have some out this direction in, like, Australia. Okay. So that's fine. We are going to go after them, I think. I would absolutely love to take these islands, this location, and this location, for sure. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to really get from them. They're currently at war with Safala. Exciting. And we are going to... Do we have a CB? No, we don't. We're going to start to work on a spy network so that we can fabricate a CB. Cool. These guys can go into port for the time being. And how many troops does... Oh, that was very laggy. How many troops does Imarina have? Not many. Okay. So, like, these four armies is likely enough for us. What is their mil tech? 18. So they're on par with us in terms of mil tech. Sure. So we're not going to have a tech advantage. We'll definitely have a naval advantage. Okay, so this is like 120,000 troops. We should bring an additional two armies. Just to be on the safe side. There we go. Cool. So that's all well and good. Our truce with Burundi has expired. Now, keep in mind, we're not really going after the South Pacific colonization game. That we're leaving to the AI. And we are instead going for the Americas. Okay, that's uncolonized. Just wanted to check that. It looked colored to me. But no. No. It's all good. Cool. So we're going after the Americas here, and that's going to go very well. We're also working on integrating Roman Transalpine Gaul. Which will be great. Our colony in St. Martin is now self-sustaining. And we'll continue to work our way down these island chains. We'll take forward one day and send out our colonist. Cool. So this will all be good. But we definitely do need to get some of these, guy, these guys integrated. Some of our vassals. We have too many subjects. That's for sure. 100% guaranteed. That said, a lot of these, our aggressive expansion is just like mega high on. Chirua, we're going to be able to convince soon enough, I think. But that's fine. So we can grab ourselves... Ooh, colonist rush. We can grab ourselves something here. Autonomy change, harsh treatment, administrative efficiency, almost certainly. So currently, our administrative efficiency is not great. I mean, you can see right now our governing cap. So 9262. I believe administrative efficiency reduces the amount of all of our provinces contributing to our governing cap, if I recall correctly. Let's double check that. No, I believe I'm wrong. Administrative efficiency is a measure of how effective your nation is at integrating foreign provinces. Okay, that's still good. That is still good. So we do need to convert here, and we will definitely do so. There we go. And hey, there's Roman Transalpine Gaul integrated at long last. So we're just going to take their armies, and we're going to delete them. We don't get the manpower, I'm aware. I don't care. I just don't want to have to deal with these. If we need more armies, we'll make them. We'll also get rid of their forts. There are a few of those, but not very many, actually. So, let's see. Here's Sebastian. And here's Sebastian. Cool. There we go. So no more vassal over here. Fantastic. That will also help our too many diplomatic relations issue. Okay. That also frees up two diplomats. We're going to reject that petition. And we are going to then, yeah, the, the merchants are disloyal. They'll get over it. 
we're going to then come into our subjects here and we're going to look at let's see all of these are angry because we annexed a vassal fair enough i think it's these guys with the lowest aggressive expansion yes so we are going to go improve relations with them cool now down over this direction Oh, we finished our conversion, didn't we? Yes, we did. We will continue with another conversion. Down over this way, we're going to spread these guys out a little bit. Okay. I think I moved one more army down here than I intended to. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, this is correct. Okay. So we can fabricate a claim on Imarina anytime we want. And when do we want to do that? Right now. So we're going to claim Comoros. There we go. Now we're going to declare on them. Well, actually, we're going to take a day. Then we're going to declare on them with our CB. Beautiful. So these guys are going to have a problem. No doubt about that. We're going to move our combat fleet here. And then we're going to move one unit in. There we go. Yeah, their combat fleet doesn't stand a chance against ours. That's for sure. Are you guys going? No, you're not. It's wanting to just walk, but the transport ships wanted to pick them up. Awkward. Am I going to have to manually do this? I may have to manually do this. Attach to transport and come on out. Yeah, I know that there's only 30. And then we select these guys and head on in. Wacky. Okay. So we're going to put a top level leader in here. There we go. We got 20 prestige as well. That's nice. And I would like these guys to head over here. Oh, Armenian Particularist. I didn't actually expect Particularist to spawn right now. But I mean, we are only at one stability. So are these Particularists going to be a huge problem? No, they're not. I'm going to send these guys up here to deal with this force. And we'll assign this guy over there. And then we'll have these guys come in here and here. I think we'll win both of those fights. And then there's some particularists out over here. I think we'll win that fight and we'll come down here. We should win all of these fights. Okay, any down this way? Yes. One here. There's one here as well. So we'll come down over this way. I was definitely not expecting particularists right now. But that's my fault. I clearly should have been paying attention. And we may as well conform that to template, I suppose. Okay. That should be all of them under control, in theory. So we'll arrive over here shortly. There we go. And we're going to move this force over to here. Once again, we're going to have to manually do this. I think this is because we don't have the 32 ships here. But we'll just go ahead and attach that to transport. And we'll head out. Unfortunately, the leader didn't come with. Oh, no, he did. The leader did come with. Cool. So we'll go land over here. There we go. We have control here, which will give us some ticking war score. And we're winning all of those battles. Beautiful. We have an idea available, and we should definitely take the Young Conserve here. Like, that will bring us up to, like, 18,000 manpower per month. That's insane. Okay, so we definitely need to, at this point, bring in additional reinforcements here. So we're going to move these guys over. It's only 2k. But we need to cap here. That is of top priority for the moment. And then we need to move in a second army. Okay. 
We're just going to land here. We can now move much more quickly. So we're going to do this. And we're just going to hold position here. They have numbers for the moment. And this is fine. Okay. Yeah, once again, we just have to attach to transport. Gross. We definitely need those additional troops, or er, additional ships. That's for sure. So in we go, and we will bring in this 2K. And at this point, we should be reasonably capable of fighting this force. Now, we are nearing the cap of admin power, and 1038? It's currently April. We're not going to have this kick down yet, so what we need to do is we need to spend down some admin power. Okay. So we'll hop into our development here, and we will sort by cost. There we go. And we'll scroll on down here. And get a few of these spent. Cool. That should be enough. And I would also like to change us off of admin focus, but it's fine for now, I guess. Okay. So these guys can move up to the coast. No, move up to the coast. There we go. Cool. We lost the Battle of Cape of Good Hope. Okay, sure. So for the time being, I want to grab... Not these guys. But then group these together. These are marching in to here. So we're going to head on in. Do we need more troops than what we have here? I don't know. They just brought in reinforcements there, so we're going to do the same. We're going to grab these 30k, and we're going to move them on over. Will our leadership carry the day here? We're going to bring in the reinforcements and bring in these guys as well. I think we're go I think we're okay here. Yeah. We get that reinforcement morale bump, and we win that battle. Beautiful. Okay, we'll select all of these guys, and we don't actually know which is which here. That's a little awkward. Okay, we'll have to select these one at a time. 12, 4, 16. So this one should be fine to be moved. 12, 4, 16. Okay, so it's these two that need to get grouped together. Cool. And we're going to keep all of these stacked here for the time being. I do want to bring in at least one more army. I don't think we need the others, though. Oh, it's actually working now. Would you look at that? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, land movement blocked by hostile fort. So we need this fort to fall. And it will very quickly here. Someone is sieging one of our provinces? Oh, we missed these particulars. Okay. Gotcha. That's fine. Only 7% here. Sad. Now we got a wall breach and 28%. Beautiful. So I'm wondering at this point, where are their troops? We know they were at war with Cephala. They probably ended that, in all honesty. No? But they are fighting Kauna, Iora, and Palawa. Aren't those Australian? Yes. Okay. So they're off over that way. Cool. We are getting close to fill filling out our admin power again. 1038, huh? We'll see if we get enough to get admin power here. We may or may not. Or enough to get admin tech, rather. Okay. This fort will fall any moment now. Let's see. Is this doable? 
Yes. Next month. Cool. So we'll grab that. For the moment, I'm going to remain on admin focus because we're going to need to core. And we just spent a bunch of admin power. But I do want to switch to dip power here fairly soon. So we'll consider when we want to do that. And that port finally fell. So I'm going to send these guys down over this way and then these guys up here. I want them to stay grouped together in groups of two. Two armies, that is. So it should be fine. We do have some Swabian separatists working on being upset. Our colony in St. Kitts is good to go. Beautiful. So we will continue to colonize down over this way. Okay, we need to cap back over here. And let's check to make sure that we didn't miss any more of these. We actually did. Uh, we'll see about getting rid of these guys and capping back over here. Everywhere else looks good. Okay. Fantastic. So we're going to cap here. We see a fort here. And these guys are just kind of chilling for the moment. So I'm going to spread these guys out a little bit. What are they going to fight here? I don't see anything that they're going to fight. Apparently there was something that was just invisible. Okay, that's weird. Or maybe it was just hiding. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just blind. That's also a possibility. We'll continue here for the moment, and I'd love to siege here. However, these guys are marching up to here. We're going to walk back. Our colony in Guadalupe is now self-sustaining, so we will, of course, continue... I just recalled this guy. We will, of course, continue to colonize out over this way. Is there anything else we can do over here? No. So we'll probably start working on South America again. Excellent. We'll bring these guys up over here. And yeah, they're going to fight our Navy. They're going to lose badly. And we're going to then head down over here. And they've disappeared. Okay. Well, we've almost got this all wrapped up. So that's completely fine. We want to battle up over here. Glorious. And we will continue to siege back those territories. There we go. And we will siege this down. We don't know what's in this fog yet. Or rather, Terra Incognita yet. And I'll send this force down to here. Are they planning on attacking us here? I feel like that would be foolish of them. But okay. I mean, I'm okay with it if that's what they want to do. It shouldn't be what they want to do, though. Yeah, they're they're just chilling down here in their... Is this their capital? Uh, maybe. I don't actually know what their capital is. We may already have it. it Maybe it, it might be Marina here. It probably is, actually, given the fact that they're in Marina. That's probably their capital, if I had to guess. Okay. We're going to grab this Terra Incognita here. Now, keep in mind, they could definitely do some damage to us here if they decided to. We'll see what they end up doing, and we get ourselves a new dip tech. I like it. Now we're less behind in our dip. Which is fantastic. They're not choosing to do anything about this Terra Incognita, though. So we need this fort to fall. Oh, there's a fort here, too. Okay, we'll walk in and help with that. We have a great project that we can upgrade, which we will definitely do. Max Promoted Culture is plus one. That's pretty good. I like it. Do we have any of those that we can promote right now? No. Okay. Well, this is at 64%, so this fort will fall very, very soon. Congolese Separatists in Gabon. This is not shocking. There we go. No problem. Okay. And we won that siege. 
We're now going to like stack all of our troops here for maximum cannon and for our siege pips. It's not efficient in terms of manpower, but we're back up to a million manpower. We don't care. <laughs> this is fine. This is completely fine. 14%. They're now offering peace. Maku and Separatists have risen up over here, and we'll just go immediately deal with them. No problem at all there. This fort will fall shortly. Another revolt down over here. Very rude. But no problem. Okay. And how are we doing on the particularist territory over here? Okay, we'll just have that back now. No problem. Beautiful. So we're going to have this siege done very, very shortly. I don't know if we can actually move here because of the hostile fort. But we'll see. I was hoping it would end that tick. It didn't happen. Okay. Our diplomat was discovered. We may as well pull him back. No point in having him there anymore. 57% on this siege now. Any moment now. Well, hello, treasure fleet. There we go. So can we move in? Yes, if we go this way. Alternatively, we can come down here. They're currently locked into moving here. So I love it. This is great. So we finish up that force. No problem. Where are they going to retreat to? This way. Fascinating. We're going to send these two troops over to fight them. And we can grab ourselves a quantity idea here. Regiment cost reduction isn't that big of a deal. I'm thinking about saving for Miltech 19 and then doing the idea. Our colony over here just became self-sustaining. Fantastic. And we are going to... Colonize the Falcons? Sure. Sounds good to me. We will continue to convert. It's been a really long time since we've had a, colon a, a colonial uprising, hasn't it? We're on native repression policy. But yeah, we just don't get those anymore, I guess. Cool. There are no natives to worry about down here regardless, so it's all fine. And I do want to get a leader here. I'm going to roll up a new one because we're kind of low on leaders. And there we go. He's not a great leader, but he's a two-star. Cool. So we'll fight them here while we continue our siege. And we'll siege this down once we're done here. Are they going to retreat to here? We'll see where they're going to retreat to. Oh, right there. Fascinating. So we'll finish this siege and then go after them. Cool. They do get a morale bump, but that's fine. And these guys just declared on Armenian La Plata. So they're reasonably powerful. Well, we'll enforce peace on them. They decline. And that, of course, means that we are at war with these guys. Now, they are Miltech 15. They have about 100,000 troops. So, in this area, we have, I think, sufficient to be able to handle this. We'll get all of these guys heading up over here for now. And Carib is in this as well. Okay, good to know. This should be fine. What does Armenian La Plata have these days? 35k? They don't have a lot. Okay. Well, we'll finish up our war with Imarina here very shortly. Cool. I'm going to send this army to chase them and stack wipe them here because I don't think... Oh, they did get a morale bump from that instant tick there, but we still stack wipe them. Cool. And I'll send these guys down over this way. So this war will be over incredibly soon. Now, we're not going to have all of their locations occupied, right? We're They, they have some islands out over here. But let's think about what we actually want to take from them. 
we definitely want to take this and this. 100%. We also would love to take their outlying islands. Like so. Now, we can't take their Australian holdings. Not yet, anyway. So, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to take a good chunk of the island like this. In fact, they'd accept this right now, and we can't take any more than this. So, let's just go ahead and end this. Cool. So, we're going to move these guys up to here, and we'll head back in there. Fantastic. How much overextension did that give us? 56%. That's not too bad. We'll core all here. All that we can, anyway. And I'm going to move this army up over here to defend us on this side. Or maybe even to attack on this side. Cool. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to fight Mu Muiska. There we go. Excellent. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazarol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Kentuin, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, El Michi Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cambrin, Martin Lawrence, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.